Um, all right, here's what we're doing this morning. We're gonna do 30 reps in four minutes. So each little pair of exercises here will be going on for four minutes. Uh, we will not come back to them. So we're only gonna go through each one one time. There will be a minute in between. Um, and so what you'll need is a weight for a swing, uh, like a one hand swing. So I don't know if, if you have a kettlebell that would work best. If you have a dumbbell that will also work, uh, it's just a little tougher to handle. Um, so what you'll do is you'll do, you know, you'll end up in four minutes, you'll, you'll do 30 swings with your right hand, 30 swings with your left hand, and you'll do 30 mountain climbers. And so you can break that up however you want. Um, you know, you can do all 30 and all 30 or whatever you want to do. Uh, the two way slide lunge, you'll need either, you know, a slider or a sock on the wood floor or something, but a, a two way slide lunge is, uh, you got the slider under, so I'll have it under my right foot. You slide out and then take that same foot and slide backwards. So there's, that's one. Um, so out and back is one. You're going to do 30 each side. So that's the only one on that. I'm expecting that that will be pretty challenging. Um, plank row, you're in that push-up position. From the push-up position, you lock everything up and then you're pulling the weight up. And a shoulder press, you'll just roll right over. You can either, it's probably easiest to just do it seated um, or you can come up to half kneeling and do a half kneeling shoulder press, pressing up over your head. Glute bridge, laying on your back, pressing your heel into the floor, lifting your hips up. You'll do, why do I always type that wrong? Always a typo. Glute always turns into glute eye. Um, and then uh, floor press. So you're just laying on your back, pressing the weight up to the ceiling. So I think a bulk of the work will be here in, in the beginning, and that two way slide lunge is going to be a grinder. So um, with that, let's go ahead and jump on the roller. And let's start on the front today. So we'll start on the front of your shin and work our way up to the front of your thigh. Morning, Carol, good to see you. Ted, good to see you. All right, so just getting into your, the front of your shin here. Again, you can roll forward and backward. You can shuff, uh, shift side to side. So just think about pushing and pulling that tissue every which way that you can imagine. And switch sides if you haven't yet. and working your way to the front of your thigh. Let's do one at a time so that you can get all the way up to your hip flexor. And we'll make sure that you're not just going up and down the same track. Let's turn a little bit to the side, turn a little bit to the middle, try to roll over every part of your, the front of your thigh, the front half of your leg. And switch legs. And good there. All right, let's uh, roll over. Give your calves and your uh, the back of your legs kind of a once over. And then we'll end up at your hips.
If you find a place that you're sore, if you know a place that you're sore, you can spend some time there. I just try to cover as many bases as possible. All right, let's uh, put the roller underneath your shoulder blades. Just roll them back and forth here. Right over top of your shoulder blades, we'll raise one arm, tilt to that side. Okay, so now we're kind of rolling out your lat, which just goes down the outside of your ribs, the back, outside back of your rib cage. Helps to raise that arm up over your head. And good. All right, let's come up to one knee. Uh, so we're gonna get tall here, getting a stretch on that hip flexor, the front of your leg that's on the floor of your knee that's on the floor. Hands are gonna come up on top of your head uh, and we're gonna to tilt toward your, top, your leg that's up. So my left knee is up, I'm gonna tilt left. Just think about turning my ear down to the ground and getting my upper back to follow and we come back up. Let's work through five of these reps. Make sure you're uh, not pulling yourself forward. So you don't want to pull down into a slouch. You want to stay tall, make sure you're tall at the top and then just tilt straight to the side. Once you're done with five on one side, switch it up. Good, let's go to all fours. Sit your butt back towards your heel. You're gonna raise a straight arm, so thumb up to the air. Really pulling that shoulder blade down and back. Once you get here, you're gonna reach around, put the back of your hand on your low back. So at one point here, you got your palm to the ceiling. At the front, we've got your thumb to the ceiling and back down. So we'll just work through five of those. Working all the way around. If you can get your, the back of your hand to hover off, just off your low back, so you won't actually be placing your hand on your low back, gives you a little bit of extra work. And we'll go to the other side. Let's do five on the other side. Remember, it's thumb up in the front. Spinning around, then your palm faces the ceiling when you get to your low back. When you raise your thumb up, think of it as kind of levering your arm up by pulling your shoulder blade down and in towards your spine. Okay, we're good there. Let's go to a push-up position. Bring that foot up out in front of you. So into this Spider-Man stretch. Okay, we're just gonna work in between a bent front leg and a straight front leg. So just working down back and forth between the two. And we switch sides. We're keeping that back knee off the ground today. We're gonna to straighten the front leg. 
and bend, straighten, and bend. And good, come on up to standing. We'll do the one kind of lunge we're not gonna do today. Let's just alternate some forward lunges. Just starting to get warm here. And good to go. Okay. So remember we're 30 minutes, or sorry, 30 reps in four minutes. The first pair is gonna be a one hand swing. So it literally looks exactly like a two hand kettlebell swing, except you're holding on just with one hand. You can do this with uh, a dumbbell. Or if the swing just doesn't work for you, just turn it into a, like a deadlift, so a one hand deadlift. It's the same motion at the hips. You just won't be swinging the weight forward and backwards. So whatever works better for you. Remember we're doing 30 with one hand, 30 with the other. Um, the other exercise in the group is mountain climber in that push up position, bringing your knees up under you. Anywhere between a march and a run for that. Okay, so we got four minutes. You can split things up however you want, you know, doing sets of 10, sets of eight, whatever works. And we'll get going here. Uh, any questions before we get going? Okay. All right, let's get started in three, two, one, and here we go. This is one you might have a little bit of extra time left over on. If you have time left, you can either rest or add some reps. Just for a time check, we're at two minutes here, so you're halfway through. Halfway through your time. You can either spread the reps out, or if you think if you'll get to 30, you can do a few more reps.
remember those swings are just gonna go right about to your nose level. We're at 55 seconds, just under a minute. Remember, this is the one that I think uh, you might finish. Thirty seconds left. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. All right, next we got slide, um, alternating slide lunges. So I guess really we can break this up however you want. Uh, if you want to do all the lateral ones, uh, you know, or 10, and then do 10 reverse lunges and then switch sides, that's up to you. Um, but just know that out, you know, when we slide out and slide back is one. All right, we've got 30 to do on each side. This one will probably be a bit of a grind. But we got uh, 25 seconds to rest. Just make sure you got something to slide with. You can choose to do this uh, body weight. It works both ways, so you can choose to, to do a body weight. If you're holding weight, you can hold it up top. Right, so if we're holding up top, that's a goblet hold. Otherwise, you're going to hold it on the side that the slider is on. All right. So our four minutes start now. 30 reps of each on each side. you can split them up however you want. Here's a fair amount of fatigue that goes along with this. The longer you go, the more fatigue you're going to get on one side. Still working through here. We're at two minutes, so we're already halfway there. Time flies when you're having fun. Remember when that we're doing that uh, lateral slide lunge, shouldn't be following the slider. Keep your body over your planted leg. One minute left.
Just under 30 seconds. Fifteen. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. All right, while we're catching our breath again, we're gonna, I'll explain the next two. Plank row and shoulder press. Plank row, you're gonna be in that push up position. Try to stay as level as possible. I'm gonna elevate my hand so I leave a little bit of room for the weight. So I'll be in this push up position here and then rowing up. Pulling my elbow up to the ceiling. 10 times on one side, 10 times on the other. And you're gonna follow that up with a shoulder press. So either come up to half kneeling, pressing the weight up. This one will also be a grinder. All right, 10 seconds left to rest. All right, three, two, one. Here we go. The wider your feet are here, the more stable you'll be able to be. And so whatever shoulder press position you want, either half kneeling, tall kneeling, which would just be two knees down. It's probably easier than standing up the whole time. You can even do seated. Those are really hard because then there's really no way to cheat. About two minutes and 15 seconds left. All right, we're into the last two minutes. Got a minute and 45 seconds left. Under a minute, we've got 55 seconds left to go. Remember form comes first, especially as you get tired.
30 seconds. Fifteen. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay. Good. Last one here. We're just going to be rolling around on the ground. A uh, glute bridge, making sure that the leg that's not working, you're going to pull it up to your chest so that we're extending your hip, and not your low back. So we pull that knee in, press your heel down into the floor. It's not about getting your hips really high to the ceiling because then we start to arch your back and cheat a little bit. So by keeping that thigh in nice and close, we're just using our hips. Followed by a floor press, weight will go here, pressing up towards the ceiling. You can uh, put your knees and feet however you want. Uh, I'll probably bend one leg. Okay, last four minutes of work. Ready and go. Glute bridge and floor press. If you want weight for the glute bridge, you can put a weight in your lap. On the floor press, I'm gonna do it like a Turkish get up. So whatever hand has the weight, you bend that knee, put the other leg out straight. Two and a half minutes in. Two minutes down, halfway there. One minute left to go.
25 seconds. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, one. Come on up to a seated position. That's all we got for today. So the way that circuit ended up, your heart rate has likely come down quite a bit since uh, kind of the middle. And that's just sort of the way this one was uh, laid out. If you like a strong finish, like if you like a, a really tough finish, all you'd have to do is take this whole circuit and flip it around. So you end up doing the floor press first and then ending with the swing and the mountain climber. So it's all a, a matter of kind of what you prefer. I think sometimes too, it's just good to have a bit of variety. So some of our circuits end really tough. Some of them, don't, uh, you're still obviously getting work done with that, with the floor press and the glute bridge, but it's a little bit different than uh, kind of the overall sky, ride, or sky high heart rate of like the slide lateral lunges, for example. So our heart rate should be coming back down, getting back under control here. Sit nice and tall in a position that's comfortable for you. Might be cross-legged, might be standing. So if you're feeling good, you can go ahead and stand up. But filling those lungs with air. Nice big breaths, expanding your rib cage. I have mentioned it before, sorry if, uh, sorry if this is a, totally repeating myself, but we want that 50 beats of recovery within probably the first minute and a half. So if you were at a 170, you should be working your way down to 120 in terms of heart rate. And you can either like wear a chest strap or you can count that. Best way to count it is 10 seconds, count for 10 seconds, count the beats, and then multiply that by six. And that's not the best way, but it's probably the easiest way. Or you can count it for six seconds and multiply it by 10. So we're just catching, getting our breath back here, starting to control breathing, checking in with your posture, making sure you're finishing nice and tall. So the reason we're talking about standing tall, not only because it gives you lots of room to breathe into, but this tall, confident posture just sets you up for a good start to the day, good morning. And we're tackling the rest of what we have to do today. All right, well, that's a day. Good to see everybody. Amy, have Brody give me a call. I'll be around uh, every all but uh, 10. 10 o'clock hour. So I'm around, oh, and noon. So no, no noon, no noon hour either. Okay. All right, everybody. Great to see you this morning. Thanks for joining. Have a great day.